ABC reporter calls Trump's doctor a liar to his face, gets shut down with three brutal words. Liberals don't seem to care who they insult so long as they can bash President Donald Trump in the process. In fact, one reporter from left-leaning ABC News demonstrated just that as he called the White House physician a liar to his face. Too bad for him, things blew up in his face as the doctor shut him down, and it only took three words to do it. Usually, people learn from their mistakes, but that doesn't seem to be the case with the left these days. Every time another one of their fake news attempts to hurt President Trump blows up in their face, they just move on to the next thing that they come up with to try to do damage. In fact, every minute of Trump's presidency has proven this as they've continually moved from one lie to the next without hesitation. At first, it started with so-called Russian collusion, then it moved on to the left calling him a racist for saying that everyone involved in the tragic incident that unfolded at a rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, last summer was at fault. There have been countless other reasons the left has attacked him since, and each one was even more far-reaching than the last. Sadly, right now, liberals are hellbent on invoking the 25th Amendment. In short, they're saying that Trump is mentally unfit to be president. Of course, seeing how far Trump has come in his life and looking at the success he's had, it's clear that the man is just as capable as any former president we've had, if not even more so. Although there's plenty to discredit anything else the left has to say at this point, those in the liberal media still apparently think that Americans can't see bias when it's right in front of them. Proving just that, ABC's White House correspondent Jonathan Carl decided to attack President Trump over his physical features. In fact, the liberal reporter went so far as to call White House physician Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson, the man who evaluated Trump and released his findings to the public, a liar right to his face. Implying that Jackson was lying, Carl demanded that the doctor explain how a guy that eats McDonald's and all the diet cokes and never exercises is as good of shape as you say he's in. Too bad for Carl, things were about to go horribly wrong for him as Jackson shut him down with three brutal words, Edge Review reported. It's called genetics, Rear Admiral Jackson replied. Some people have just great genes. I told the president that if he had a healthier diet, he might live to be 200 years old. He continued before reiterating again, he has incredible genes, and added that it's just the way God made him. As for ABC's White House correspondent Jonathan Carl, he would only continue to be destroyed in that same blistering fashion where facts obliterate his fiction as time went on, even well after the press conference ended. In fact, the Gateway Pundit reports that even former President Barack Obama's officials are defending White House physician Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson from media conspiracy slurs, telling reporters to give it a rest. The fact of the matter here is that the left is so hellbent on taking down President Donald Trump that they don't care who gets caught in the crossfire. Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson is a man who has faithfully served this country under both Democrat and Republican presidents, and any attack on him is a disgrace. Although they don't seem to mind destroying a man's reputation and career, the people they're doing the most damage to is themselves. The further down the rabbit hole we go here, the crazier these idiots look, and at this point, we're going to need some straitjackets and padded rooms to fix the problem because, apparently, the Trump derangement syndrome they are suffering is only getting worse, worse.